Hello everyone, Mustafa's Movie Corner here, and as we're going to continue on with my Paramount collection, um, for this collection video, this time, this is going to be for my Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. VHS collection. Yep, these were all of the VHS tapes that I will might be showing. Um, I originally did show them when I was recording my um, Paramount VHS collection, which was last time. But for these bunch of those tapes, um, it took me that too long to get this collection video done. And yeah, it took me a long while. So that's why I've decided to do this as my Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. VHS collection right now. So there you all have it right now. So we're about to begin. And as you can see, I have a bunch of those VHS tapes to show, so we're going to begin right now, so here we go. And of course, we're going to begin with those clamshells. For this one, this doesn't have its original case when I bought it. So I had to make one with my new own. As you can see, this is the best I can do. I'm not so sure if all of you, all of you all may be able to get to see the print date, but it is July 18th, 1999, July 18th, One I cannot read the print date for you all. Yep, the print date on this tape, like the one like which was invisible ink, is hard for me to read, so I can't read it to you all. I apologize. January 8th to Busted 2. Once again, I'm not too sure if all of you all may be able to get to see it, but we must move on. That's the way it is, so yeah. Cudge numbers 80 out of 82. Yep. Um, I don't have the Rugrats movie. Um, the main reason why I don't have this movie was that's because I'm never getting that movie on VHS and DVD, which because the, the main reason why I'm not getting it is because I really do hate the Rugrats movie, which I'm not getting this one on VHS and DVD, like I said, because it seems to be the worst movie ever, so, like I said, I'm definitely not going to get the Rugrats movie either on VHS and DVD, because I do not like that movie at all, so, I'm not going to take the risk of doing that. Ooh. I'm not going to show that. You all get the memo. Cudge number 16 out of 18. I almost forgot. The how am I still not going to go on any detail on those inserts. Once if I do my movie company collection videos. So yeah. This is not a copy. 
The first one, which I already did show the uh, in a while ago, is the Canadian copy. But this one is the American USA copy with the orange tape. But this one's got one print date, however. Which was the 11th week of 1999, but... As you can see, there is no real actual print date. Um, I tried looking it even more closer, and I even looked even more hard, but I can't find another print date that way it says. So, yeah, I guess it's just the old print date, not the two, which was the newer one. Oh well. The print date is January 10th, 1997, and yes, that's the real actual print date. Um, I believe I said the print date wrong back in 2017. Um, the print date I said is October 1st, 1997, but nope, that's not the real print date. Um, the real print date is January 10th, 1997, so that's the real actual print date on this tape. And as you can see, I did make my new own label because... The original end label has been and ripped off because of me. Yeah, I've been ripping off all of the end label. Probably it's because to reveal the print date. So that's why I've decided to make my new own label. That's the way it is. So, yep. This is the blue tape, which was pretty nice. The print date is August 23rd, 2000. Black tape. Hmm. Let's see if I can find the print date. Hmm. I believe the print date for this tape is July 16th to pass a bond. If I'm not mistaken. Hopefully I'm not. Somebody named Adon Charles used to own this tape, but... It's now mine. The print date is June 4th to bust it too. And this tape doesn't have the 90th and the Durst Week feature presentation on it. Same thing with this next tape. This also does not have the 90th and the Durst Week feature presentation, but oh well. It's what it is, what it is. The print date is November 24th, 2002. Here's the last clamshell. I know some copies of this tape were in slip cases, but my copy of this tape came in a clamshell, but Oh well, it's what it is, what it is. The 
The print date is August 21st, 2005. That was all of the clamshell cases. So you can see. And now beginning with those slip cases. I have a lot of them as you can see. So we're bound to begin. So I'm going to begin with those SpongeBob SquarePants VHS tapes. As you can see right there. So here we go. The print date is the 6th week of 2002. The print date is the 7th week of 2002. Cudge numbers one out of two. And now this next one. This only the SpongeBob SquarePants tape that could ever have the knife in the dirt week feature presentation. The print date is September 26, 2002. It may kind of look like faded, but I can still read that way it is, so. Yeah. Cudge numbers three out of four. <clears throat> Cudge numbers three out of four. The print date is January 14th, 2003. The print date is January 18th, 2003.
The print date is January 19th, 2003. January 19th, 2003. Excuse me. Clutch numbers four out of five. The print date is the 37th week of 2003. Cards numbers are two out of six. Cottage numbers two out of six. Same cottage number as Christmas. I know Dilly and Dippet has two copies of this tape, which was the wear orange tape and uh, screener copy of this tape, which that has the updated Nickelodeon logo. So. Huh. Cudge number 16 out of 21. Cudge number 16 out of 21. Yep. Looks like... Looks like that I'm not going to be able going to do my update version of my SpongeBob SquarePants BHS collection. I'll explain to you why once if I show you that Walmart exclusive tape like as you can see right now which we'll get into that momentary. Ooh, it's upside down. There it is. Cut. Looks like I can't read the cottage number since it's being since it's being blocked by this black tab. And this tape is a former rental from March video if I haven't really said so. Same thing with this next tape I right hear. This one's also a rental from March video. Ah, oh, choked in there once again. The print date is June 21st, 2004.
Crunch numbers two out of four. The point date is the fifth week of 2005. The print date is November 28th, 2005. This tip is rare, of course. Very glad I have this, alright. Nonetheless, excuse me. October 10th, 2005 is the print date on this tape. This is the last SpongeBob SquarePants speech has ever created. The print date is February 2nd, 2006. Looks like this tape will be almost turning 14 years old soon. So, yeah. The wheels on this one are yellowed, but that's alright. Print date is December 16th, 2000. Even though it's the 2000 bond features. And yes, I did look it up on the release year on what did the special edition of this tape came out. Um, I thought it could be from 2000, but as if I looked it up on Amazon, well, I'm guessing this actually turns out to be the two bus and bond features, and especially like us for this tape, um, it has the Rugrats, the Paris, the movie on VHS and DVD, like which says coming in spring to bus and bond on VHS and DVD, like which was the same thing with the two thousand and bond features is a Blue's Clues, all kinds of signs and little bear, little Sherlock bear. So I would say right now that this special edition features of this was from two thousand and bond. So, yeah, I might change the opening title of this, like, which, if I'm done with my Nickelodeon Nick Jr. VHS collection. And now, here's the next one, and I'll explain to you why, what the main reason why I'm not going to do my updated version of my SpongeBob SquarePants VHS collection. Well, this is my second, well... I do have my two Walmart exclusive features tapes, which is this one and for that Nick Jr.'s Imagine That. And I do have the third one coming in, which was Nickelodeon Super Tunes, which that will might come in either um, tomorrow or Friday. Hmm. And the main reason why I'm not going to do my updated version of my SpongeBob SquarePants BHS collection was. 
because I have still have yet to get those two more tapes, which was Fear of the Krabby Patty and Undersea Antics Volume 1, which I have been currently have in trouble looking for that blockbuster exclusive features of Undersea Antics, which I cannot find this tape anywhere. As long as it turns out to be the joke fest that I keep looking for this tape everywhere, but I cannot find it for sure. The print date is the fifth week of 2003. Probably it's because I wanted to do the updated version of my complete SpongeBob SquarePants BHS collection. Which the main reason why I'm not going to do the updated version of my SpongeBob SquarePants BHS collection in the year of 2020 edition. So, yeah. As soon as if I get Fear of the Krabby Patty and Undersea Antics, I will definitely do the collection video. But now I won't because I don't have these two tapes left. But like I said, as soon as if I get them, I'll definitely do it. And now for those um little bear VHS tapes. So alright. Some of the cases you could see is sun faded, but that's alright. And plus I did enjoy watching this one um in the summer of last two years and last year. Probably it's because I like to watch this one in every summer and plus I enjoyed watching this one so Yep Just the two thousand reprints With the print date of the 18th week of 2000 so How can I make that focus? Oh, there we go On this tape, um, it was actually a bit damaged under the beginning mm. But not too bad, but it is still kind of damaged until then by the middle part of the Rugrats videos trailer which after that it stopped being damaged and then after that the rest of the VHS tape plays good so yeah. This is the 2003 reprint. Two print dates. 33rd week of Night's Eye 8 and the 36th week of 2003. This is a recycled tape. The lid on this tape was broken so I had to repair it with the scotch tape. But the tape still plays great throughout the whole tape surprisingly enough without any damages. So um... Yeah. I do not have any more of those little bear feet chesses, but I plan on to get those soon. I don't know when, but the time's going to depend if I could get more of these or not. The print date is the 51st week of 2001, even though this is a 2002 BHS. There is a bit of dirt on the cassette, but tape plays great without any damages. So, yeah. The case on this tape has the regular panel logo. But on the stick label, this has the knife and the nursery logo on it. So, yeah. The print date is the 15th week of 2002.
current date is the 30th week of 2002. You probably cannot see it well, but I don't have the time to show you correctly. For this tip right here, it is a former rental from Hollywood video, and this even comes in a squeeze and shake case. I might show you this Hollywood video sticker on how it looks like. There it is. Print date, the 43rd week of 1998. 43rd week of 1998. Yep. There's no print date on this tape, and I'm actually kind of thinking to get another copy because for that stick label right here, it was faded, and it also doesn't have a print date. And of course, this tape seems to be um damaged like throughout the whole tape, but um not too bad, but it is still kind of damaged. Probably it's because it might kind of make me think like that it's a bullock tape, but like yeah. It was damaged, so I need to get myself another copy. Probably it's because I had this years ago, so yeah. February 3rd, 1999, even though it's the Night's I8 features. This case is to be in very nice shape, but it got destroyed by accident, so I had to repair it with this scotch tape. May 27th, 2000. I know there's some of the copies of to this tape that has the knife and the Dursley reprint, which I noticed that some of people on YouTube thinks that this the Pamela knife and the Dursley reprint, which that contains the updated previous one, 2002, if it has the knife and the dirty step on it which and it serves for the black tape like which was a reprint but even when some of the copies of to this tape have knife and the dirty reprints um it still would have contained the original content from two and bond so yeah print date is the 44th week of two and bond There we go. The print date is August 28th, 2001. Um, on this tape, this actually has the making of the feature of the Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius um, at the end of the tape after for all of those four episodes, which which the main reason why there was stay tuned bumper under the beginning of this tape, which I did watch that um 
last year, so yeah. I'm not going to go in detail on those blockbuster purchase dates. I don't have the time no more. The keys on this tape has the knife and the Dursley logo. But on the ink label, it has the regular Pamela logo. The cards numbers are YR3. And it has two Rugrats logos on the label, which I don't know why they've put in here. Hmm, it should be supposed to be one, but not so sure what that's about, but. Oh well. What it is, what it is. This case is not in the best of shape. As you can see, some of it's sun faded, but the tape played great without any damages. The Kudge to Bazaar, 2 out of 5. This one's a black tape to Boston and Bombay print, which was ultra wear indeed. Print date the 44th week of 2002. I did tape up the piece back onto this tape with this scotch tape because it came broken, but tape plays great without any damages. I might as well show the odd film strip. Yep. Hold on a second everybody, I'm about going to get distracted by there, so give me a second. Okay everybody, sorry for that distraction. The video must go on, so I'm going to begin with those Story Explorer VHS tapes, so there we go. The main reason why I'm showing these in the order like that is You'll find out why once if I show the uh, the actual tapes to these to itself. So, yeah. Wish on the star. Yep, they both have not even the Dursley logo on their labels, which say we print. And they both have the same print dates, which was December 19th, 2002. They both have their same contents from 2001, and I even already uploaded the opening to these tapes on um, back in 2018 if y'all want to go see. So, yeah.
print date is October 31st, 2002, aka Halloween 2002. April 25th, 2002 was the print date on this tape. The case also has the regular Pamela logo, but on the ink label itself, it has the Pamela Knife Anniversary logo on the label. The print date is October 28th, 2002. Two copies, of course. The Canadian copy, Kudge numbers 8 out of 12. And this one, this is the American USA copy with the print date of the 44th week of 2004. I've been currently looking for that wear orange tape copy to this everywhere. Um, I don't even know how a black tape of this ended up in here, although. I've ordered a orange tape copy to this from eBay in a while ago. That's pretty much a dumb and a choke fest for me. This is going to take long a longer while for me to get the wear orange tape copy. So, yeah. This tape right here has the 90th and the Durst Week feature presentation. Ooh, I forgot to mention, um, for. Dory Explore Christmas, like those two features copies, um, they also have the knife in the Durst Week feature presentation. So, yeah. Cudge numbers two out of six. Cudge numbers two out of six. The case has the knife and the nursery logo. However, on the ink label, it has the regular Pamela logo. Print date is January 14th, 2003. Coach number three out of five.
Cards numbers 3 out of 11. I have two copies. For that spare one I'm going to show you is really rare. You'll see why in a sec. American USA copy. The print date is the 16th week of 2004, so this is a later reprint. And this one. Black Wheels. Very rare indeed. The print date is December 2nd, 2005. December 2nd, 2005. Coach numbers 42 out of 42. Coach numbers 42 out of 42. The print date is March 21st, 2004. Cudge numbers four out of five. Hold on a second there. I got distracted by there again, so I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. Sorry for that once again, but this video now must go on. I think I might as well have picked up the bad time, but this is the only time that I can do this so far. So, yeah. The print date is September 5, 2005. This is the American USA copy to this tape containing American USA previews rather than Canadian previews, although it has the American label. I mean, although it has the Canadian label, like I might say, as you can see. So, yeah. I'm guessing that this makes no sense at all. January 3rd, 2006. Ooh. I apologize. I did not mean to drop the tape like this. My bad. Print date is November 28, 2005. There's a bit broken piece on the lid to this tape, but tape still plays great.
delicious meat. The print date is September 13th, 2005. September 13th, 2005. This is the last Joint Explorer tape in this collection video. The print date is April 18th, 2006. Here's another Walmart exclusive tape. Yep, the rarest one of them all is actually with this Canadian copy. Very rare, huh? Print date is May 31st, 2002. And now for those, um, two little bull features as well. Make it technically free because of those two spares, like, which I already have. So, I'm just gonna make it as free. So, yeah. This case is in very bad shape. But the tape plays great without any damages. The print date is January 18th, 2002. This is the Canadian copy. The print date is September 29th, 2002. And this one is the American USA copy with the print date of the 34th week of 2002. I have no idea why I was rambling on buying this one in the Canadian copy in the first place after since if I bought that American USA copy to this tape. Mainly it's because I was unable to find a Canadian copy but until then for last month I did so this, this is why I bought another copy which I couldn't resist buying of those Nick Jr. features tapes from 2001 until 2004 like which was in the Canadian copies which I have could not have passed it up and so is for the Nickelodeon feed chest tapes so definitely had to pass on it by getting this one as a another copy by getting it in the Canadian copy and and since because of this it was wearing hard to find and now we're gonna move on starting with those blues clues speed chest tapes and as for that free blue spoon feed chest tapes, as you see here. So, yeah. The label's faded, but that's alright. Print date is January 18th, 
this and story time. We're both later reprints. Same as for this tape. Ooh, I do have another copy. Just the Canadian copy. The print date is September 10th, 2000. And this comes in the original box by the artwork. I meant the original cover art, as you can see. And this is a reprint copy with a different cover art, as you can see. And this one is an American USA copy with Shea Black tape. Print date is the 8th week of 2005. Print date is February uh, 21st, 2002, even though it's the 999 features. Even though it's the 999 features. Person and two B print, also a black tape. Print date the fortieth week of two thousand and two. July 31st, 1999. <sighs> this video is now getting into that distraction. I don't know why what's going on, but please try to focus on me. This is the only time that I can do this video for y'all. September 15th, 2002, even though it's the Night Sign 9 features. This one I cannot read the print date for you all. Look at this. Yeah. The the invisible ink print date, all of it's just faded out. And it was hard for me to read a print date, so I cannot read a print date for this tape. I apologize. Boston and Bumby print, all sweep like tape. Print date is the 44th week of 2001. I have two copies you can see.
black tape to Boston and two we print Print date is the 12th week of 2002. 12th week of 2002. And now copy. Still a black tape. This time, 2003 we print. With the print date of the 49th week of 2003. The print date is July 30th, 2000. The print date is February 11th, 2009. There's a bit crack on the back of the tape as you can see. Yep, it's not good. But the tape plays great without any damages or plausy enough. So, yeah. March 24th to Boston and Blind. March 24th to Boston and Blind. There you go. August 23rd to Boston and Blind. Coach numbers one out of two. Coach numbers one out of two. Blues big news tapes. October 20... Wait, what is this? Yep, October 25th, 2001. October 25th, 2001. I almost forgot there for some reason. This one's a wee print. Yep. Canadian black tape print. Got lucky with this one. November 29th, 2002.
April 12th, 2002. April 12th, 2002. Oh, I forgot to mention this. On the case, it has the regular Pamela logo, Wandy and label. it has the Naive and the Dursary logo. The print date is April 8th, 2002. April 8th, 2002. September 8th, 2002. And now this next one. This is the only Blue's Clues tape to feature the 90th and the Durst Week feature presentation. September 30th, 2002. September 30th, 2002. I may as well have to go quick. My brat my battery is about to run out. The case itself has the 90 from the Dursary logo. One, the stick label itself, it features the regular Pamela logo. Per date is the 8th week of 2003. Current date is the 10th week of 2003. This case is pretty nice and colorful that I really liked it. So, yep. Print date is the 18th week of 2003. July 11th, 2003. Print date is October 12, 2003. Print date is January 21st, 2004.
I have two copies you could see. Current date is the 29th week of 2004. It's the American copy. And this one is the Canadian print. Coach numbers 1 out of 3. Hmm. As soon as I finish off with those Blues Clues releases, I'm going to have to stop the video because... I do not want my charge to be finished, so yeah, as soon as if I'm done with those free Blues Room tapes, I'll stop the video, and then once if I have it to charge, I'll be back recording the video. Cards numbers 2 out of 11. I've been going this very quick, mainly it's because of my phone charger. Just the orange tape copy, two print dates, first week of 97 and the 27th week of 2005. The print date is December 7th, 2005. Okay, now might as well go charge my phone right now. I'll be right back. Well then everybody, looks like I didn't get my phone to get full charged, but it's 14% charged, but I began to start recording this because I want to get this collection video done, so I have five more tapes to show and then we're done. So let's read this up then. Sorry that for this collection video was already screwed. I kept trying to get this done as soon as possible. I know why what screwed me up for. Here we go. This, this is my only cat dog tape that I have. I did not have to get it forever, but I actually do plan on getting this sometime. Hopefully if I can get it if the time will depend. So, yep. The print date on this tape is the 11th week of 1999. You probably cannot see it, but I don't have the proper time to show you correctly. I do not have any more of those Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius BHS tapes, but I do plan on to get more if if hopefully the time will depend. Cudge number 6 out of 13. Okay, now the last but not at least, my two Very Odd Parents BHS tapes. This originally released in 2003 by the American USA. Cut. No. The print date is May 10th, 2004. 
May 10th, 2004. The last but not at least, Scary Godparents. Ooh. Sorry, sorry once again by there. The print date is July 20th, 2005. Already then everybody and now there you all have it. That's my Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. VHS collection done. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I apologize for that screw up some of the screw ups in this collection video which I know why. Well I hope you all enjoyed this video like I said and I will see you all in a next upload. This is Buster Fuzz Boofy Corner signing out.